All right, peace. Spronsberg right here with another video. Before I begin, like and subscribe. Thank you. So I've been coming around just really looking at a lot of these articles and about how a lot of the Western world is starting to grow apart, especially where they're trying to divide and conquer everybody into individuals, where um, you know, you're having the race thing coming along and this idea that it might become a civil war soon and the fact of the matter that the nuclear family is broken in a lot of ways where you know we see things fit children against their parents parents not being able to connect with their children and a lot of the society where the adults act like children but on a other respects children are governed to act like adults so i bring all of this to say is this thing that's happened out in Canada that's been very forward with bringing a lot of these like agendas to the forefront to uh, allow children to make their own decisions without their parents' consent. Um, such as so, as you see here right now by Virginia Allen, it says new Canadian law could send parents to jail for not affirming gender identity. So I'll just read this article and share my thoughts afterwards. It's a conversation many have had at least once in their life. A family, a friend or family member shares that he or she is struggling with same-sex attraction. No doubt there are countless opinions on the most loving way to respond in these moments, but a new law in Canada mandates the response to be given. Affirm that same-sex attraction or, or risk jail time. Yes, Canada's conversion therapy ban, pan, ban requires parents, pastors, counselors, friends, and others to affirm a person's gender identity, gender expression, or sexual orientation, or face jail or prison time. So basically, like, it's already, even though Canada probably has a different way of their laws, right, the Constitution and all these different things, like, you already know um, in America, amendment and the rights and stuff like that, rights to free speech and all this other stuff. But obviously, if it was America, which is probably, is already doing the same thing, um, they just haven't made it made it illegal to a point that a person, you know, offends someone in the LGBTQ community by saying, um, you know, you're not the gender that you claim, or you're not the gender that you believe that you are, or I don't understand your proper pronouns. You know, it's just getting so hard, and I feel like Canada is just all the way there with it. Yes, Canada's conversion. No, excuse me. Canada has surrendered surrendered to the political sphere to let them decide how we can counsel, how we can love our LGBT neighbors in the name of Jesus and how to teach our own kids what a biblical view of sexuality and gender looks like, say Jojo Ruba, the communications director for the Calgary, Alberta-based Free to Care. Ruba joins the Daily Signal podcast to discuss Canada's new conversion therapy ban and the possibility of the US adopting similar federal legislation. It's not even a possibility. The U.S. will, okay? The U.S., especially under Mr. Joe Biden himself, is going to allow for all of this to take place. You know why? Who is the ringleader of this? Barack Obama. Then from Barack Obama, it carries into something else. But of course, they needed a, uh, uh, they needed a way to kind of block this esoterically, which is the reason why they chose Donald Trump to be president for a little bit to cause a controversy, to cause a civil war, to cause the problems between American citizens and the problems with the whole thing about gender expression and all these different things and then trying to relate the racism into it. But that's a story for a different day so that it uh, egg on people to get this illusional, this delusion that we need to get kind um excuse me, you need to get Donald Trump out of office to be getting someone who's still going to go with the ring lead conversation and the grouping and whatever you have to call it to proceed forward, thus Joe Biden. We also cover these stories. Oh, okay. So that's it for that article. But um, basically, this is a podcast you could watch, but I just wanted to show this really quickly because Canada is really going hard with this, you know what I'm saying? But I just thought to myself, you know, parents are not going to be able to parent their kids. The parent, I mean, a child is probably going to be able to do their own thing when they're young and they feel like their parents is disrespecting them. They're going to have the parent bow down to them. And it's a total way of breaking down the nuclear family where the child doesn't respect the father or the mother. 
you know, going against the principles, respect thy parents, you know what I'm saying? That's not exactly what it is, but you know what I mean. So give your thoughts in the comment section. Peace.